so first of all i would like to thank uh, ec council to create a, such a wonderful course as a cpent uh, there are a lot of things i have learned in the cpent that's something which i'm going to like uh, uh, walk you guys through at the next session and initially like let me start with my uh, profession of like cyber security how i uh, like I came into like cyber security my career is actually like started in 2012 into a cyber security after uh, graduating in be computer science engineering i just went to a small company where i was up to given a job where i have to do like vulnerability assessment and penetration testing for my like first day of my work which was very new for me in the real time and then i started like learning a lot of things my first certification was like ceh back in 2011 so that helps me to boost my confidence to work on 2012 and uh, eventually like after 10 years and i was able to like do cpent and again which gives me another confidence uh, currently i'm working in uh, tech mahindra as a senior security uh, consultant whereas uh, i have like 10 plus years of experience working in only like on penetration testing and i work with multiple customers and each customer has a different expectations some of them are from a banking side some of them are like from a finance uh, side and some of them are from the like government sector side like these are the like different types of a project different types of a customers that i'm facing in on day to day life activity client this was something which i actually like wanted to talk to a lot of people uh, the one thing which actually like caught my attention is the uh, promotional video on the first thing they started like uh, promoting about uh, the cpen courses comparing to like the ecsa like previously and i've like looked into it what was a different module that we were able to like uh, learn at this app, uh, in the current era three things which actually like caught my mind in terms of uh, like course material and course syllabus first osent second one ot and iot scada so these are the three major modules which actually like caught my uh, interest to learn like cpen in the first place and i usually like receive lot of uh, ec council emails since i was like a previous ec council uh, like certified a member i started receiving lot of course emails from ec council uh, regarding the cpent and uh, regarding like an ec council uh, ch practical exams so which was a first step of my career to jump into like cpent to understand like what was this courses and since there and uh, i was able to like reach out to uh, ec council team to understand like how it is going to work and that's where i actually like give my uh, exams as i have like uh, more than 10 years of experience in terms of vulnerability assessment and penetration testing preparing for this exam was not very difficult for me but there are three areas which i need to focus more the first one as i mentioned like uh, iot ot and scada things these are the areas that which i don't have the actual hands on experience which helps me to like prepare a lot and also ch labs help me and uh, like uh, ec council labs really help me out to uh, get the practicals on how to do how to do the actual uh, like testing on a uh, firmware how to do like scada engineering testing and uh, what are the items that we can work on everything has been like done on the lab environment which really helped me to uh, go forward and get clear hands on experience that really helped me on my exams as well comparing to the other exams which i have taken uh, in the past uh, i would say like uh, it was slightly tricky comparing to the other exams it's not more difficult it was like slightly tricky because uh, this exam does allows us to like start from the like basics so a lot of people knows how to use automation tools a lot of people knows like how to actually like handle things but this exams which really helped me to understand like uh, starting from the process wise each process has different uh, steps and each steps does have like proper answers that is something which helps me to like keenly focus on the like exam side and uh, uh, one of the specific part i would uh, really like comment a person who sets the question it's on cryptography that was the only like uh, area of a module which i spent more time on writing in exams comparing to the other uh, like module set of questions cryptography would actually like took me more than like 2 hours while i was like writing an exams it was uh, the much uh, easier part but it was like very tricky part first thing as i mentioned little earlier on my previous question uh, the course module was really interesting because that exactly like what i was looking for into my real time engagement since i was like working with most of the customers most customers has a different expectation the first things which helps us is like osent iot ot scada things 
and along with that we have like advanced penetration testing on active directories so these are the first major things which i really liked about cpan courses and other things what i really loved and uh, what i really enjoyed working with like a cpan and a cpan exams or the cryptographical part as i mentioned on previous question cryptography was really interesting uh, in terms of looking into a, a learning perspective and also uh, the final most important part during the examination sessions it was all about like they are allowed us to write an exams with the help of uh, like specific set of an you know, operating systems where we are allowed to use any any tools this was something which i hasn't seen on uh, different exams uh, that really uh, made me to think about like why we actually like uh, have to use the tools that was very clearly described on cpan they want to get the real time experience on um, the actual pen testers or actual consultant how they are going to engage in the real world it's not just like we are going to like use only like the automation tools that was a part which was really made me like uh, realize that like we can actually like do it and which helps me in a way and uh, you won't believe me this is something which i uh, usually like used to share with my uh, colleagues uh, the cpan labs as well as like the cpan exams is really like opens my eyes and one of my real engagement with uh, one of the customers uh, where i was able to like exactly like find a, a critical vulnerability how i practice on the lab which was the same vulnerability we were able to identify on one of the customer in room uh, which customer were happy and eventually like i was happy to like find out that with the help of like cpan and cpan lab exams the most interesting part what i identified is there are a lot of vulnerabilities which i cannot actually find it on real engagement so those are the vulnerabilities which the lab uh, environment and lab exercise was really helped me and there are old vulnerabilities but which i can uh, get a hands on experience there are like new vulnerabilities which i can like change the configuration and how to figure out like how it works that was the only major thing i was uh, like looking into it in terms of like any exams cpent has actually like uh, given me the 100% access to the lab which really helped me to get my exams done and also which uh, also helped me to boost my career with a huge confidence that i can uh, do any uh, environment pen testing with the help of like uh, the work which i put in on uh, cpent labs there are a lot of tools uh, which i use day to day life but one tool which i uh, personally stick uh, with my personal opinion and uh, one of my personal favorite it was metasploit keeping up with metasploit is always a difficult because we do get like lot of exploits in a day to day and uh, how to customize metasploit and uh, how to update that metasploit module those are the things which was really interesting and uh, that was one of the topic on Uh, like cpent where how to use metasploit to perform an exploit which uh, was really like helpful for me to customize some of my exploits on my real engagement as well well uh, one of the major things and i can actually like vouch for like cpent uh, how it helped me on my career the first and foremost thing is a uh, lot of my uh, colleagues wanted to do an exam and i was the only person who actually like took a cpent exam comparing to the other uh, courses comparing to the other courses which i have earlier done and uh, this cpen course has a core hands on experience and uh, which also gives me more confidence in terms of like working with the customers in terms of like uh, training my uh, associates this is something which was really interesting working with a customer is always like good thing you will get learning you will get the certifications you will talk to a customer with the help of like cpen courses we were able to like answer all the questions but the only thing what i was like seeing slightly different compared to the other courses i was able to educate all my associates by giving them a right answer in terms of like hey this is the best way to do it and this approach will help you to eventually like reach the right points that's something which really like stick uh, with me for a longer period of time and cpent is uh, help me to boost my career confidence and also like my associates like work of an boom this was really an interesting question and in terms of uh, like exam wise in terms of like uh, technique wise in terms of uh, like how we approach pretty much uh, most of them are like uh, similar but only one point it actually like stuck is in other courses or take an example of like uh, the courses where a lot of people are like used to do there are exams where you are not allowed to use any sort of a tools which you are predominantly like depend on like your hands on experience in terms of manual you need to customize your own exploits and here in cpent they have given you a liberty to help you to achieve 
as a real time pen testers you are allowed to use any tools in terms of uh, like a kali linux or in terms of like parrot os you can use your own tools you can customize your tools you can use an automation tools as well the end result is what cpent was expecting is how you are approaching the process and methodology are you able to like follow it correctly and how are you able to like achieve it that was a process and methodology was something which cpent is like focusing more in terms of like giving a liberty for a uh, exam uh, exam are taking persons who is not supposed to use in you know, a tools or who is not supposed to uh, like write a customizes an exploit they were giving a liberty to us to achieve that exactly like what they were expecting in terms process and the methodology but this uh, i'm going to give a uh, like few pointers where how i started the first thing i started uh, by learning basics of networking without networking it's going to be like really difficult so i started with my uh, idea of like networking in the first and second thing i learned about like web application web application hosting and uh, web application basic programming and designing techniques and uh, the third most important point is the basics of python program at least we need to know uh, how to customize certain exploits to run it in terms of like metasploit wise or in terms of like uh, just running it without a metasploit at least we need to know that a uh, programming basics a uh, python programming basics and fourth most important thing is try to play more number of like cpf challenges which is capture the flag challenge we have to like achieve uh, there are three four areas where we can play we can depend on uh, commercial uh, commercial cpf challenges we can depend on uh, open source free cpf challenges and also the final most important point is like rely more on the material of like cpf and how they are provided and uh, make use of a lab environment that is something which uh, Uh, i can um, suggest all the upcoming cpent portions to learn there are reasons behind that like lab experience for an example uh, there are certain tools which mostly i personally use it on my uh, like practice and like work for an example there is a tool one of a tool which i precisely wanted to like point out here uh, take an example if there is like a specific port number is open uh, 4445 on an smb port eventually like we end up finding like one tool which we always like use with a one set of a tool uh, i suggest or like recommend for the upcoming people to get an hands on experience of multiple tool for the same purpose for an example an smb we can use smb map to understand what is what and uh, is there any kind of uh, uh, information leakage is available with the help of smb we can do it sometimes if that tool doesn't work which means uh, we have to go with an alternative tools we can go with like an smb client or we can go with crack mac exec and there are other tools so i always like uh, keep things in a back of my mind we need to have a backup tools when you are writing an exam sometimes the tool doesn't work so eventually that's going to like uh, put ourselves like in a low level when you are writing an exam so to establish your confidence we need to have hands on experience on lab environment especially with lot of tools access